Hello my YouTube friends. Today I want to walk you through how to add all sorts of awesome live streaming widgets in OBS Studio using Stream Elements. It's a totally awesome free tool. So let's get right to it. My analytics say that 80% of the folks watching my content are not subscribed. Am I doing something wrong? Let me know in the comments. But if you are looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, then why not subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. It's totally free. A lot of people use Streamlabs widgets to add alerts and labels to their live stream. But there is an alternative and a really good one in my opinion. It's called Stream Elements and it's completely free to use. There's a link in the description so you can check it out. So let me show you how it works. So here is the main web page. I can just click on YouTube and sign into my YouTube channel. And here we are. We're in stream elements and there's a lot of different stuff here to check out if I go to my activity feed It's going to show me all the activity that's been on my channel whether it's super chats or subscribers or donations or anything like that Alerts and overlays There's a theme gallery where you can go in here and you can actually purchase themes for your live stream alerts and widgets these are all custom and you can just buy them and then of course put them right into your live stream they're pretty cool it's an easy way to get some really neat alerts and widgets for your live stream definitely check these out if you have a little coin to spend and you don't want to create them yourself it's pretty cool stuff the next one is my overlays and this is where we're going to create all the overlays to add our widgets i'll show you that in a minute but let's go down here to revenue they give you a way to actually make money on your live stream through earning tips and it has a little web page here you can replace the images to customize it and make it look all about what your channel is about which is really awesome if we go over here into tipping settings you just put your paypal in then we go down to page settings here and you can add all kinds of different stuff and set up your web page the way you want it we can go to design and right here we can add some text and replace those images right here as well you have your tip panel set up where this is the link that you're going to use to put on your stream probably through the chat or something so people know how they can tip you if they want to and this little video here shows you exactly how to add it which is kind of nice and then of course tip moderation you can go down here and set the limitations for how people can tip and all that kind of stuff filtered words all those kind of stuff so this gives you an easy way to add a way to get paid on your live stream for folks who really like what you do it's awesome and you don't have to be monetized to actually add it so it's nice that stream elements added this feature for anyone let's go down here to bot and I'm gonna show you modules. This is where you can add alert chats and that sort of stuff. You can do uh, Twitter and 8ball, a couple of different types of things. Um, right here is chat commands. These are all commands that you can add to your chat so the bot will recognize it. And you can turn on spam filters um, so it'll block all caps or emotes, all kinds of different stuff, banned words. You can make sure all that's blocked from your chat using this bot. Or you can set up a timer. Here is where you might wanna put your tip link in and have this pop up in your chat every certain amount of time. If you wanna add one, you just click add timer you can also click this to edit any current timers that you already have set up your intervals and change that you can also delete it with a little trash can here and so here kind of shows you a profile page which everyone gets when they use stream elements and you know you can use it as a web page if you didn't want to create one and you can also put your social media in here and what this will do is push out information to some of these places you can see some of this is still a work in progress but it'll push out alerts to these places if you happen to be going live which is pretty cool it's nice to have a you know a tool that's going to do all that stuff for you any little bit helps. But we're gonna go into my overlays and I'm gonna show you how to create an overlay. So I just wanna make sure that we go over here into OBS. And what I'm gonna do is add an overlay that I already created into our OBS so we can populate it. And if you wanna learn how to make this overlay, you can go ahead and click the link in the top right hand corner. I do have a tutorial on how this overlay is created, but we just browse to find our overlay here and we will open that overlay and we want to loop it it's not a specifically long video file we're going to drag this down here to the bottom 
And you can see it has a location where we can put names in there for our super chats, our donations, and our subscribers. And we'll just drag this down to the bottom here. And let's go ahead and add those names. I'll show you how simple it is to add labels to your live stream using stream elements. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna create a blank overlay. And 1920 by 1080 is the size of my stream. If yours is different, you can change it up right there. We're gonna go over to the left and click add widget. We're gonna go down here to labels and we're gonna start with subscribers. And we're gonna go to the latest and we're gonna have a label for the latest subscriber. And I don't need latest subscriber printed in there because I created my own overlay. So I'm just gonna remove that. I only need the name, so I'll delete that. And then you can see that you can change the position and size here if you'd like to. I don't generally do that, I'll just do that with the mouse and in text settings you can change your font sizes and your font settings your colors all that kind of stuff it's really easy i'm going to put on dynamic font size and that is so that it will automatically change the size of the text depending upon how long the user's name is and sometimes this works a little wonky and you'll see that later i'm going to click save i'm just going to give this overlay a name and click save and you can see I drag it down to the bottom right hand corner where it would appear on the screen. I'm going to click this link and I'm going to go over here into OBS. I'm going to click my plus and I'm going to go to browser because we want to add a browser source and I'm going to call this one labels and I'm going to click OK. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste that URL I just got from that link in here and I'm going to set it up to the size of my stream which is 1920 by 1080. And I'm just going to delete this custom CSS down here because I don't need it and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now, there we go, our text has appeared down here in the bottom right showing our latest subscriber. I'm gonna go into Stream Elements and now I'm just going to resize it and put it in the right position. And you see I switch over here and it hasn't changed and that's because I didn't save it. So we're gonna go back into Stream Elements and save it. And now when I flip over, you can see the size of the text has changed and we'll go back over here and we're gonna shrink it up a little bit and move it. And let's pop back over after we save into OBS and there we go. Now if I go into Stream Elements and I just want to do some fine tuning on the positioning, I can just select it and use the arrow keys to move it around a little bit to where I want it. Click Save, go back into OBS, and there we go. Now we have our label exactly where we want it. All we need to do is add our Super Chat and our Donation label. So we'll go back over here and the process for this is exactly the same. We're gonna go to this plus down here in the bottom left and we're gonna go to latest tipper. We're gonna delete the actual label name because we already created that. And we're gonna go into text settings and we're going to go ahead and enable our dynamic font and move it down here into the same relative location where it would be on our live stream. We'll save it. And the last one we're going to add here is our super chat and we want the latest super chat. So there we go. And we're gonna delete the latest Super Chat label because we already have these labeled. And if you notice, we go into text settings and for some reason, this one doesn't have that dynamic scaling, which I don't know why the Super Chat doesn't have it. It's one of those weird things. But we're gonna drag it down into place and see if we can get it centered up. But for whatever reason, it doesn't have that dynamic scaling that the other one has which is kind of on the annoying side. But now we have all of our labels set up just about where we want them. It looks good. Now these are gonna change. If someone gives a super chat, those are gonna change. If someone gives a donation, it's gonna change. The next subscriber, it's going to change. It's automatically monitored so that Stream Elements knows when those things happen and they will go ahead and update those on the screen. I wanna take a second and tell you about another channel I work on. The channel's called For the Love of Cars and it's about all things automotive. Motive. As much passion as I have for live streaming, there's just nothing like ripping around the track in fast cars or looking at the tech of the newest cars available. If you enjoy car content or you just want to have a look at what I do in my free time, please do check it out. There's a link in the description. I'll see you there. Now we want to have something that does an animation on our screen when those things happen and those are called alerts. So we're going to add an alert box to our live stream. And here it is, now we have an alert box. And you see them all listed here. We can have alerts for subscribers, members, super chats, and tips and purchases. We're just gonna do uh, these ones I set here and we're gonna uncheck the other ones. 
and it kind of shows a little video of what the animation is when you get the alert. And these down here will show you where the text is going to be displayed when that alert shows up. So you can change it up if you want. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. And pretty much all those settings are standard. We're gonna just leave those, but you can go in here. You could create your own custom video that's gonna play when your alerts happen so that if you want something else. You can go ahead and just load in the whatever video you want. And that's really cool because it makes it super easy to add these labels and to create custom ones. But we're gonna leave it the same as it is because, you know, it's fine. This is just showing you how you can do it. You can see you can change the alert duration and there are all kind of other settings down there. But for the purposes of this, we're just gonna leave it right here. And you can see there it is in layers. There's our alert box. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to emulate and we're going to go ahead and we're gonna kick this event off so we can see what it looks like on our live stream. So we're gonna go to super chat and it's gonna be a $10 one and we're gonna go over here and there you see, boom, our alert shows up in there. Pretty cool stuff. Um, I don't think I like it over there in the left. So we're gonna move this over to the top right. And all we have to do is make sure that we save it. And when we go over here, there we go. Now it is in a new location and it looks really, really good. I like it, it's cool. And like I said, you can use your own animations. You can create whatever animations you want. And if you'd like to see me do a video on how to create custom alert animations and that sort of stuff, don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below and let me know. Now there are a lot of other features that you can add in here, text, um, asset rotator, um, custom widgets, which you can set up with CSS using web pages and things like that. And then stream tools allows you to add your streams chat it's simple you just click here you can change the size of the box to any size that you want and then when you live stream to Facebook or YouTube or something like that it's going to go ahead and have your live chat in here so you can see it and it's pretty awesome I really do like this feature it's a lot more intuitive to use than a lot of the other things that will display chat on your screen you can also change the fonts and you still have all the same kind of things that you can edit as with any other one and there you go you can see there's our chat box in there and if we were live that would have all of the chat populating in there so we can see it but we're not live so if I select our chat I can go ahead and just remove it by clicking this little trash can with it selected and there we go and you can do seasonal and charity kind of things it's really cool all the different stuff that you can play around with in here now one of the ones that I think you guys would like is an asset rotator or slideshow and this is where you can add video or just static image assets assets to rotate on your screen in a specific position. You can upload a video or anything like that to add it to the rotation. So let's say you had sponsors for your live stream. You can add them in here and put it in a box that's got a specific location on your screen and it'll rotate them around and do all that kind of stuff. It's really, really cool. So that is another really awesome asset that you can add using stream elements. For engagements, you can add a countdown timer or a merchandise goal here. Let me show you how to do the countdown timer really quick you just click that and you add it and here we go we're going to drag it into the center and you can have it count exact time or date whichever you want if you uncheck one it will automatically add the other one you can go down here and decide what elements of this countdown timer you want so we're going to delete days and hours and of course that little colon there so now we just have the minutes and the seconds you can show uh, this little message here when the countdown completes. It says countdown is over. Obviously, you can put your own text in there. We can go into text settings and we can change our fonts and the way that we want it to be displayed. Very cool. This isn't quite as effective with a number as it is with text, but either way, we can change the color. We can center it, make it bold, all the kind of things that you could do with any piece of text. We can add a text shadow too. And I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna go ahead and extend our box and you can see it doesn't change the size. So we've gotta come over here and we've got to change the size of our text using this little size button. And there we go. We'll embiggen it using that. And we're just going to place it wherever we want it. And if we click save, we can go over into OBS. And there we go. You can see it's cut off a little bit on the end there. And that's a simple fix. All I have to do is go back into stream elements. We're going to stretch out the box a little bit over here and click save. And now when I go back in, there we go. 
Look at that. Perfect. Super easy to add a countdown timer if you're going to do clocked runs or something for uh, video games or you just want to count down the opening scene for your live stream. It's really easy to do. And by the way, you can set up different layouts for any of these. So you can have five or six different layouts, one for each scene you have in your live stream. If we go right over here, you can see I have two different label ones. Each one of these can be for a different scene in your live stream. You just add it in as a browser. So if I have five different scenes, I can actually have five different layouts for my alerts or my text if each one has a separate or different overlay. It's really, really powerful. And I love the fact that you can create different ones separately. You just can't do that in Streamlabs. You kind of get what you get. Here, for each scene, you can have a completely different layout for your widget widgets and for everything. It's awesome. What do you think of stream elements? Let me know in the comments. Personally, I really like being able to place the assets on the screen where I want to and see that ahead of time instead of trying to figure out where they're going to show up using Streamlabs. If this video is helping you out, please take a moment to pop a thumbs up. It's right down there. And it tells YouTube the video deserves to be shared with a wider audience so it can help more people. And it's really going to make my cat Dusty happy as well. And it does help me out, so thanks. If you want to see how to create a custom alert using Stream Elements, check this this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.